Welcome back. My name is Lisa Bermudez, and if this is your first time actually tuning in, if you are seeing me for the first time in this series, I am a yoga teacher, I am also an Ayurveda wellness coach, and I'm also a skydiver. In this series, I am giving you some tips and tricks, some tools and classes on how to make your mind your best friend and how to use your breath and your body in a way that will just help you elevate your experience and also help you be a little bit more safe in, in some of these situations where we're not always the safest. We try our best though, we try our best. So this class is a meditation. We'll be moving through a meditation on how to make your mind your best friend. The yoga teachings, especially in a text called the Bhagavad Gita, we learn through these teachings, through this text, that our mind, this crazy thing that we've got up here, can either be our worst enemy or our best friend. There's another text in yoga philosophy called the Yoga Sutras. And in the Yoga Sutras, really basically throughout the entire text of the Yoga Sutras, we're learning how to control the mind. The mind, if it's uncontrolled, is again, our worst enemy. It's kind of like, like if you've ever seen a bunch of untrained puppies just, just being held by a dog walker, they go all over, right? One wants to go that way, another wants to go that way. Our thoughts are the same exact way. If we're not training this mind to, to work with us, one little thought is gonna run in one direction, another little thought's gonna go in another direction. Oh my gosh, did I not check my gear? Oh man, did I not look at what the wind was doing? whoa, wait, who is this person coming on, on this skydive or on this, this adventure with me? What's going on? On the other end of that, if we're able to be in control of our mind, be in control of our thoughts, we're then even more aware of what's happening around us. There's almost a heightened sense of what it is that we need to know and what we've got to do to actually be in sync with it, right? So. In this meditation, I invite you to either sit the way that I'm sitting, which for me, it's comfortable. For you, it might not be. You might need to lie down. You might even want to stand up and, and get your feet down on the earth somewhere. You might sit back. You might sit on a chair, but sit somewhere where, where you don't feel like your body's getting in the way, where you don't feel like your old injury or something is acting up. And then once you, once you have your comfortable seat or your stance or your reclined position, close your eyes and just take a moment to breathe all the way in through your nose, deep breath in through your nose. Fully, deeply breathe all your breath away. And then right here, right now, notice what you're feeling scared, anxious, excited, nervous, happy, over energetic. Notice what you're physically feeling in your body and the quality of the thoughts that are moving through your mind. And once you notice them, give them a name. It's often said that when we give a name to something, when you name, name the emotion, name the type of thought that you're having, that's kind of like the first step to, to conquering it or, or to making it really at your mercy. You're not, the, not at the mercy of it. And then now that you've tapped into how it is that you're actually feeling, noticing what's going on in your body, Think about what you want to cultivate more of, something that you want more of. Maybe that's today, maybe that's on whatever you're about to go do, your jump, your, your whatever it is that you're about to go into. Something you want to cultivate more of that could be organization, that could be clarity, that could be focus. And then think about something that you want to let go of. So something that is not serving you. This could be anxiety. This could be 
nervousness. This could be fear. This could be sleepiness. Whatever it is that you don't want to entertain. So you've got one thing that you want more of, one thing that you want to release. Close your eyes if they're still open. And on that inhale, literally say that word that you want more of. Maybe it's more focus, so you'll inhale focus. Exhale nerves. Maybe it's inhale clarity. Exhale anxiety. And then take another, we'll do another four rounds of that. Keep your two words with you. Breathe in. Breathe out for one. Inhale what you want more of. Exhale what you need to let go of. Breathe in what you're cultivating. Breathe out what you're releasing. Last big breath in. Last big, 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 bigger breath out. Let all the breath go. And then float your eyes open. From here, this, this is a practice that you can actually take with you that you can do. Uh, a little secret that I have is I sometimes sit in my car and I'll do this. Um, if, if my friends come and bother me in the parking lot, I go to the bathroom and I'll go do this in the bathroom. Uh, I sometimes will even find a place, a quiet place, maybe on the grass or just somewhere where nobody is, is going to bother me and I'll move through this meditation, I'll move through this practice. From here, it's easier for me to visualize. For me, it's my skydive, what it is that I'm gonna do, and uh, my jumps throughout the day as I move through them, because I've already cleared out all the stuff that was gunking up my brain up to this point. So, hope this works for you. I hope this serves you in a really positive way, and I look forward to seeing you in some of these other videos.